Hi, boys and girls. Your Seuss-inspired or Ted Geisel-inspired assignment is to create an invention that's really kind of wacky, something that probably is never going to happen, but in your imagination, it can totally happen. So the first step you wanna do is you wanna think about something that would help you out. So I did an art idea cap because I have a lot of art ideas, but sometimes I don't have the time to actually create. So I had this idea that what if all my inspiration could come out in my drawings and in my coloring and my pictures, my collage and my painting and my sculptures, and I could just turn an on button and all these little helper hands can come out and create what's going on in my mind. So, this was just one idea that I came up with. I want you to think for yourself, what would you like to have happen? In the Cat in the Hat, there's that cleaning car. I really like that idea too. So maybe you would like one that when your mom or dad or whoever says, you gotta clean your room before you can go play, push a button and then all these little arms come out. So I just wanna show you some of the ways to make some of the mechanisms. You can come up with your own way. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to draw like a Seuss face and then how to draw some of the arms. So you wanna start with, I started with a cap. That's how I, that, that's how I started. So if you wanna start with maybe um, a car or something like that. So I'm gonna start with, with a car shape and I'm gonna do it very Seuss. And let me put on some wheels and this is a sketch. So I don't know where it's, going to go from here. Um, and let's say I wanna make a cleaning car. So to make these arms, it's two lines that are next to each other. I did a circle and then another arm that comes out and maybe this one's gonna hold a spray bottle. So if you want to do like in the cat and hat, you can make a glove if you want that holds something. So you can put a thumb around the side. So maybe this is gonna be, like I said, a little a little spray bottle. And the nice thing is this is a Seuss inspired thing. So if the spray bottle doesn't really look like a spray bottle, it's okay. Just kind of is uh, going to be a little silly like Seuss. So that's good. So you could do something like a glove at the end. Uh, I like, I like to add a little swirl in the middle. You don't have to. And you can also do one that's more like a grip, like right here, kind of made a U shape. So maybe I'm gonna make that U shape again, and this is gonna hold my broom. And then I would need another one down here to hold the dustpan. Or maybe it would just be a dustpan. Anytime the arms come out of the machine, I like to create a C shape around it, like that. And if you wanna create that little 3D look, it's just two lines down. It's similar to the Wayne Tebow cake. You're gonna use that same technique. Two straight lines and then a curve that matches that curve. You can add bells, whistles, you can add lights. You can put a person in here driving. So let's talk about that Seuss face. It's gonna be a pretty skinny neck, a more rounded droopy face that kind of goes into the neck. The smile is big. There's a little line here. The nose is small. And then I'm making a very happy person because the room is getting clean. And you can make whatever hair you want. You can make curly hair, you can make straight hair, you can make short hair, you can put a hat on, whatever you'd like. Put ears, put earrings on. This right here would be erased so that the person looks solid. You can draw hands if you want or the hands can be inside controlling, however you want. Again, this is just my idea sketch, just similar to the images that I showed you that Seuss did. 
when he sketched out his designs. And you can again, just keep adding arms. Maybe this is a duster. I'm gonna do that U again. Another thing that I added was if I, if ever I added any double arms, um, you can add springs in between, kind of like the hair. So that's fun. You can add, I think I did a couple in here. You can add details in the background if you want. You can put them, you can put mess on the ground if you want to show that, oh, this room is just a mess. You can look at the images from the cat in the hat. And when you're done, when you get your all your ideas out, you're going to find the lines that you want to keep. So, and always, if you're using a Sharpie, make sure you have paper underneath. So for this right here, I would keep this line. And make that circle a little nicer. But the line in between the arm, I would not keep that. So I'm gonna hop, skip, and jump over. And when I go to a race, usually I race when everything's traced, but just to speed it up, it'll help clean it up. So when you're all done with your sketch, find those lines that you wanna keep, trace, erase, color, and remember, enjoy and stay creative.